Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the latest TCS Prime interview experience. This interview experience is will be very much important for you because here all the questions were asked from the project and project related technology. So earlier, many of you were saying me that the Prime level interview experiences that you are watching on YouTube, whether on my channel or or any other channel, they were very basic. So here is the one of these interviews wherein lot of questions have been asked, lot of high level questions have been asked from project and project related technology. So make sure that you are watching this video till the end. So guys do hit that like and subscribe button for this channel because lot of videos I have posted regarding TCS and in future also I will be keep posting on TCS as well as different different companies. So make sure that you are present on this channel. So guys now let's start this video and before starting the video please hit that like button. Okay, so guys the first question as you all know is self introduction. So here you can include your education background, your skills, your projects, your internships, your extracurricular activities or any of the achievements you can tell here. Okay, so moving ahead next question is explain your project in detail. So as I have told you that project related questions are very common in the interview as well as very important as per the interview is concerned because through project only the interviewer understands that okay. Uh, you uh, you have done the project you have the knowledge about the technology that you're telling about okay so these are the very best things that you can like uh, include in your resume so if you have still have any time mention at least two projects related to it in your resume okay and how you have to explain the project in the interview i have already made a dedicated video on it i will give the link in the i button or in the description box make sure to visit it okay so moving ahead to the next question now you will understand that why I was always telling you that project and project related technology both you should prepare very well the questions can be asked from you so moving ahead you will understand this thing okay so next is show the workflow of your project so now you have a project now there will be a proper workflow like by workflow I mean that how your model see here the project was related to machine learning so the candidates project was related to machine learning okay so show the workflow of the project that how was your training data okay entire flowchart you have to prepare for that that this is the input it is happening if this is the condition this is happening if this is the condition this is happening and finally we are getting the output so from input to output all the flows that that are there in your project you must know that okay so interviewer here asked the candidate to show the workflow of the project okay so you can draw the proper uh, proper flowchart you have to draw on a piece of paper and show to the interviewer then he can ask questions related to that workflow or any other question that he wishes. But for every project that you are mentioning in your resume, you must know that what are different different components of that project and how they are connected to each other. Okay. So many of I know many of the projects that you are making, they are uh, what I will say they are group projects. But you cannot tell in the interview that okay I do not know this component because my friend made it. You must know entire project end to end. Okay. Every flow inside your project you must know and you can be asked to write a workflow in the project okay next question is how did you train the training set so since it was a machine learning project we all know that in a machine learning project we have a data in which we divide the data into two sets one is a training set through which we train the model another one is the testing set through which we test the model okay so first of all like we have to uh, pre-process the data we have to like uh, miss, uh, we have to fill missing null values also somewhere we have to add null values somewhere we have to optimize our data so all these uh, answers can be uh, answered in this particular question that how did you train the training set okay how did you form the training set okay i hope this question is clear to you next is what are llms their application and how they will change the way we interact with them see many of these questions depends on the panel also so if panel is interested in machine learning and now you have also the project of machine learning so then they will like start to dig you if you will keep on answering these type of questions they will start to dig you that okay till where you know about these things so the candidates interview that i am discussing here has like lot of knowledge about machine learning so she was able to answer all these questions so uh, what are llms their application how they will be changing the way we interact with them so all these questions she was able to answer but make sure that again i'm telling you make your project only on that language only on that technology that you know do not lie in your resume it can backfire you so here she knew machine learning and deep learning and made the project about it so here are the questions that he was able to answer okay i hope this is clear to you next is what is generative ai so again we are like seeing chat gpt now that is we type the question we get the answer but this is what a generative ai is in simple terms okay so yeah 
next question was full form of gpt but it does how big is its data set so again you are like doing the uh, you have made the project of machine learning so all these things around that are going on in today's uh, scenario we should know that okay it is good to have basic understanding about what are different different things uh, around machine learning that is happening okay so i hope this question is clear to you next is what are the different types of machine learning so again there is uh, supervised learning unsupervised learning so all these reinforce reinforcement learning is there so all these types are the different different types of machine learning so if you if you have made the project on machine learning then you you must be knowing these different different types also okay so i hope this question is clear to you next is explain different types of algorithms in brief so i have like in notes also i have mentioned different different in my notes also i have mentioned different different types of algorithms like there is logistic regression there is linear regression there is knn there is scheme k means also so the uh, the basic basic definition if you are prepared for machine learning interview basic basic definition you must know okay for all about these algorithms next is what is open ai's model for image recognition so again these are the questions if you know then you know okay the, there are no right or wrong answer for these what is open ai's model for image recognition okay next is explain ann cnn rnn and lstm so a uh, so this cnn is convolutional neural network rnn is uh, i think uh, i just forgot but rnn is but these are all the types of neural networks so so you uh, see again these are the basic only in deep learning in deep learning these are the basic model only okay so you must know these things also if you have, if you have made the projects on deep learning or if you have used deep learning in any form and lstm also is part of that only okay so moving on to the next question what is deep learning so again there is one machine learning then there is deep learning so again they are a subset of each other and in deep learning like more complex uh, patterns are found okay using deep learning because we uh, what we do we make layers of neural networks in between of like our starting point and our output point so more uh, complex pattern we can observe in the images or any other videos also so the main uh, motive of this video was to let you know that do not take your projects uh, like lightly it is not necessary that uh, okay you have just read your project and you will just simply explain it there can be cross questioning also from your uh, projects and the technology that you are used in project see here technology was used in the project was the machine learning and deep learning so entire interview went on machine learning and deep learning only so it is very important that you understand this point to take it seriously that questions from your project and from your project tech can be asked so you must be prepared for them also okay so these were all the questions which were asked from this candidate regarding the machine learning and deep learning ones now she shared some of the questions which are asked from other candidates also so she clearly mentioned that from other candidates very basic questions were asked okay basic questions were asked mostly not all but mostly basic questions were asked again it is dependent on the panel also in which you are giving the interview for okay so the questions from other student that she mentioned were there were some coding questions like reverse a string palindrome of a number prime number bubble sort delete the fourth element in the string so these are some of the questions which are asked from other students belonging to different panel next some uh, again some basic questions were like method overloading method overriding basic sql queries like second largest salary so again see most of the things is again i have told you that depend on the panel and the interviewer that you are interviewing for if you have made some technology project based on the interest on the of the panel so then they might start digging you also lot of things depend on the interviewer okay so if you want to like if you have like done preparation and just you are at the last stage of your preparation only then like uh, we have launched our notes in which there are lot of commonly asked questions from different different subjects they will help they can help you in preparing revising your concepts and for the last minute preparation so different different subjects we have covered c++ python coding questions also operating system networking so commonly asked questions are present in these pdfs for each subject it is at a very nominal price of rupees 99 the links you can find in the description box okay so i hope now the entire questions that we discussed in this particular video are clear to you and now like you will be taking the projects more seriously than before so this was it for this video if you have found this video useful to you then do hit that like button and subscribe to for this channel and make sure that you are present on this channel thank you for watching this video